Hello Firm Academy, this is Miss Chocorolo. Um, welcome to Art Lockdown. Uh, we will continue with our topic on natural form and today we will focus on skulls. Um, I've done a, a, a mood board here and I've picked two artists um, just searching online. I found this Italian artist, uh, Patrice Mulciano, if I've got the accent right. Um, and then Marcello Monreal, so he's a kind of like a digital artist. And um, and then I did some still life drawings, and I had a go at drawing the skull, and I thought that would look quite effective. Some nice dripping paint, and um, yeah. So all you need is a HP pencil. You need your phone, so you can go to a li a library if you can, or if you have a, a book, which I have here, on human body. Um, especially you need this for your science and then what you can do is um, or even at school just take a photo which I have done here okay and we're going to do some tonal drawings you can actually if you can if you are in the library or at school uh, photocopy and then once you've photocopied um, the page, you can cut it out. So one half would be empty and that's when you can do, um, you create exact copy of the other half. And so it looks quite re realistic. And I tried loads of various of um, shading techniques here. Um, but yeah. Right, so but today what we'll do is we'll do the whole, we'll try and have a go at drawing the whole skull. And this is what I'll be drawing today. Okay? Okay, so I didn't say, but you need a paper. You need a, any paper would do. Right, so I've got my paper here. It's an A3. You could have an A4. Um, I'm, um, I've got my phone here. You can see the picture of the skull. Um, but just for today's sake, I'm going to use the book. So just pretend that I'm actually using the phone. So you can see the skull. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah? Okay. Right, so... It's kind of like a self-portrait, isn't it? Um, again, let's just do the face first. The shape of the, the face. So let's just fill up the whole page. Um... Again, very gently on your pencil. Again, I'm going to get some, get the shape right. So you need to do good looking. So I'm just trying to get the shape right. So around here, I'm going over and over until I am happy with my shape. I'm doing it very quickly, so just doing a nice light sketch, going over the lines. So you can see the shapes kind of forming. That's the draw, kind of a wide chin. Right, so that puts the eye socket over here somewhere. Again, I'm using my reference lines to help me. So the nose is kind of somewhere around here. You've got your teeth. The teeth should be round about here. So it's kind of helping me to show where everything is, yeah? I'm not straight away doing in details I'm just trying to get the shape first you could always rub it out I'm trying to see if I'm not to use the rubber 
because you don't really have to. And it's kind of really hard because that's, if you do a line of symmetry, that should help actually. That would kind of help me. So it should, that side should be the same as that side. So maybe a little bit wider here. Just go for it. Just get a sketchy sketch. Have fun. And you can see my hand movements as well. I'm not kind of doing it like that, you know, just nice kind of pencil, um, kind of pencils, what do you call it, strip, big lines. Right, let's do the eye socket. Um, so that's the middle bit, that's the nose. So I'm following my lines. You can see the shapes kind of forming, isn't it? <laughs> it's like it's got glasses. got the nasal there. Um, so curved lines like that. But remember it's got to be the other side needs to be the same so if it's kind of like that, the line, if you draw a line like that, so make sure it's the same width from this line of symmetry. If I'm not happy with anything, I tend to just like rub, so I don't need to see it. Right, so, yeah, there's my teeth. Right, so, um, if that's my line of symmetry, kind of just goes over, doesn't it? Let's see. Um, one, two. That's one, two. Let's start from here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it kind of it gets bigger here. It's like the it's like a the depth, and then it kind of gets smaller and smaller from a distance. It gets Kind of decreases, there you go, in size. So your front teeth needs to be big, and just like the other side, gradually get smaller and smaller and smaller. So they're kind of, kind of, there's a little bit of a black here, a little bit of gap, so they're not quite touching the bottom teeth. Again, I'm looking at the shape, I'm looking where it is. I'm just doing this really. Okay, so this bit is actually touching, isn't it? It's kind of. It's not very. It's not straight, is it? The way I'm doing it. It's kind of like. Okay. Let's try it again. So that's why looking is so important. You have to look. Sometimes I guess I shouldn't do that. shape. So this bit's all curved and then this is kind of like straight here, isn't it? 
and that's a bit, they're not all straight, this one's a bit slanted from there. Again, I'm, I'm not worried about the detail, don't worry, just get the shape right. Shape, 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 shape. Right, so pretty much, okay. And then, right, something's wrong here. The, the chin, that looks quite wide, doesn't it? So I need to cut that off. So, should be round about here, yeah? I would think. Maybe this time I do need my rubber. Okay, um, right, so what we're going to do is let's do a quick little nice shading technique. So there's quite, um, let's do, um, we've got the hatching. So you can try lots of various of lines, thin lines, thick lines, and then you've got your cross hatching. So maybe we can try two techniques, yeah? And do some blending as well. Right, so, just do one eye, the socket bit. Okay, so it's very important, because this line is kind of curved, okay, so you could do your, this is called your contour lines, so it's more curved, yeah? It's much more curvy. So follow your lines, wherever your line's going, you go with it. So I'm trying to create a, a form. So you can see my lines a bit curved here. And then here, it's going that way, isn't it? So you do this way. Until you get to the middle, you can do straight. And slightly. Can you see the shape I've created there? You can rub it out, just to blend it. Again, we're doing lots of various of turns here, so you can see that's a bit outside, it's much darker, there's a bit of a light here. With the light, I'm going to use my rubber. There's something here inside. So I'm just, that's quite dark. And this bit's really dark, there. And I'm going to do my cross hatching. I'm still using HP pencil. You can change it to a different gradient if you want to, to make it darker. Again, I'm not doing straight, I'm, I'm following the lines, the direction of the lines where it's going. So it's slowly, slowly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this really dark, just this bit here, and, and you can see that the blending gets lighter just here. I'm going to continue. It's not that hard. Just have to. You can see how I keep changing direction of my lines. Adding more depth because the outside of my line is much darker. I'm pressing it down, much more pressure now. I'm building it up layer by layer. I still haven't finished the eye socket yet, I'm just. And I'm going to blend it in. Again, 
I'm always using the same technique on tour lines. I'm doing it really gently here because I want it lighter, really gently, but I'm still using the same technique. I'm just it's kind of dark here. So you can use, you, you can see I'm using like tone as well. This is where you get more points. It's not about liking your picture. It's all about actually just ticking the boxes. Am I adding tone? Am I using different shading techniques? Am I using adding depth, etc, etc. And this is how we assess your work. It's not all about, oh, about liking it. It's all about, are you meeting the success criteria? And with highlights, you can add, you can add the, you can use a rubber, just that bit there. You can just use a little bit here. And maybe just a gently, I'm going like in circular motions, just trying to blend it in, just to make it nice and light here. So that's that bit there, just gently. And then again, you follow. The lines, the lines are going that way, aren't they? This way. I'm not doing it straight because I'm building the shape, the form of the of the skull. Again, I'm using my contour lines. And then I have to see where the light's coming. It's quite a lot is going on. <laughs> and then it's a bit dark here. So you can see it's taken me maybe a lot of couple of minutes just to do just this side. I'm not rushing because some of you are just rushing it all. Miss, I finished. No, it takes quite some time. It's not quite easy. Again. I'm not doing straight, I'm going over because I'm building that form. And you can rub it as well just to blend it. And here in the middle you can do it nice and straight because that bit's all nice and straight here. And you see when you rub your fingers, when you rub it, so it's kind of blending in nicely now. again you've got that bit here right so basically you just continue with this technique all over otherwise we're going to be here for <laughs> hours so I'm just gonna stop in a few minutes well a few minutes now Again, I didn't say on the video um, a rubber. Yeah, make sure you have a rubber as well. It's fantastic for highlights. And you can always go back to it again. I'm just double checking. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my cross hatching. I haven't, let me do that bit here. Slowly, slowly building, 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 building. And then you can do a little, little triangle shape here. And there's a little something in the middle, a little dot. And then that bit's actually quite 
not very dark. That's when you can do some nice gently here. So I'm, again, I'm going straight up, up and down, up and down, and then I'm going to go this way, the lines. Diagonal, and then diagonal on the other side. So there's three different shapes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah? Because if, if I do all like this, so I'll show you. If I do it like this, some of you do that. Can you see? You're not separating the shapes at all. So it's very important the direction of your lines. Again, diagonal here, diagonal there. So I'm creating form. Maybe straight down there. So you can see it. Right, we're gonna stop now. So have fun. Please, please, please send me your stuff. I would love to see your drawings. And um, no excuse. It's, you don't need to buy anything. You just need paper, pencil, rubber, Take a picture, use your phone, and go for it. Have fun.